watching Telecom TV from Mobile World Congress 2019 in Barcelona. I'm joined now by Antonio Aramangol, who is Head of Network Virtualization Strategy at Telefonica. Antonio, thanks for joining us on Telecom TV. What new demands are consumers placing on communications networks? Well, as such, it's, uh, it's hard to say. What we are observing is that traffic is increasing uh, year after year, okay, and that there are coming new applications, new ways of uh, using uh, the networks that we were not able to, to foresee. But what can be said is that with uh, 5G, uh, somehow there will be new verticals uh, in the industry that will be benefit from, let's say, uh, applications that uh, have lower latency from the network and uh, more massive bandwidth. So w there will be a combination of several factors. How is Telefonica transforming its network to be more flexible and agile? Well, what we try is uh, to, to make of our networks uh, programmable ones, okay? So uh, for us, versatility of the network and to be able to program in advance and in real time uh, how the network needs to behave is, uh, is the key, not to, uh, let's say, to, to cope with the, ch with the changes that we are not able to foresee. What do communication service providers need to do to stay competitive with the cloud service providers? Well, it's precisely uh, tied to the, to the way that we are trying to make our networks programmable. Okay? So basically what we are trying is to, to introduce, uh, let's say, uh, NFV technologies, okay? network function virtualization technology, by using homogeneous infrastructure based on uh, basically code servers and, uh, and, switches, and switches we are able no, to have more uniform networks and to put all on top of them all sorts of working loads. How are you shifting from using proprietary technologies to off-the-shelf technologies and how does this help with your network? Well, for us it's, it's key to, to be able, uh, let's say, to get rid of physical appliances. So, uh, it's true that uh, in many parts of the network, right now we are still needing physical appliances, Okay? But we see that more and more the industry is able to offer us uh, uh, good software, good uh, virtual network functions that can be put on top of regular servers. What are your expectations and plans for Intel's Cascade Lake generation of Xeon scalable processors? Well, we expect to be able to test them in the following weeks. Okay? Uh, our expectations is that we can increase the performance uh, 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 a bit higher, but uh, we think that it comes with uh, new technologies uh, inside that uh, will be very interesting for, for let's say, uh, for obtaining more performance with uh, selective uh, network functions. How important is it that these scalable processors are optimized for network workloads? I think that is quite important. Uh, for instance, uh, we have the, the new Intel uh, selective uh, uh, technology, uh, selective speed technology, okay, that uh, will allow us to, let's say, to change the frequency of some of the cores so that uh, network functions that, uh, for instance, have a given cores uh, working very heavily, receiving traffic or, or whatever, we can uh, increase the performance of that and uh, lower the performance of other parts of the, of the VNF that are not uh, requiring so much performance. So, as a, as a result of that, we will uh, increase the performance a lot, or that's what we expect. So these network optimized processors are very important for communication service providers? Yeah, it's, it's key because at the end, we need to demonstrate that physical appliances, okay, uh, let's say, are not special needed because of performance, that the, the, the performance that we can obtain with NFV is, mat, uh, is good enough to uh, replace all those uh, legacy technologies. Antonio, thanks for joining us on Telecom TV. Okay, you're welcome. It's been a pleasure.